Hi guys, I hope that you're well. Um, today in our craft activity, we're going to be making a snake out of some yoghurt pots. So make sure you've got uh, some yoghurt pots ready, um, preferably the really little ones, um, like that you'd have like a little snack, you'd maybe have two. Uh, little kids ones are the best ones. Make sure they're well washed out, grown ups, so you might need to help make sure they're really clean. And uh, what we're going to do, once we've got all our yoghurt pots, is we need to put a hole in the top of them. So grown ups you're going to need to help with this. Hopefully you'll have um, some of the little kids ones and they should be really easy to just cut a hole in with some scissors. Might need a little knife, um, but it should be really easy to do. Um, once we've done all of our pots, we need to cut a piece of string, whatever length you want your snake to be. And we'll put a knot in one end. Again, you might need to get a grown up to help you if that's a bit tricky. We've got our knot there. And then we're going to take the other end and thread our first pot on. Now this is going to be the head of our snake. So if you had a slightly bigger pot, I've actually got an old hummus pot here that I'm going to use. I'll just thread it on like that. So the string will be going through the inside. And that's going to be the head of our snake. Now if we take our next pot, we want to put this on the opposite way round. So we've got the opening of our yoghurt pot there. And we're going to put the next one, we're going to make the openings meet each other. So that we get like a whole shape, if that makes sense. I'll thread mine on and then hopefully you'll get to see what I mean. But basically, we want the openings to be meeting each other. So rather than being the same way round as the first one, it wants to be the opposite way round. Should look something like that. Now hopefully yours will match up a little bit better. I didn't have a lot of yoghurt pots. We don't eat a lot of yoghurt in my house. And mine were only from a very specific brand that make this shape. Um, so mine's not probably not going to be as good as yours. But if you've got the little yoghurt pots, they should kind of slot together and look really good. And then we're just going to put our other yoghurt pots on. Just thread those onto our string. And these can be either way round, whichever way round you want them to go. You can keep that pattern going if you want. Or mix it up. So as I said, I have only got four yoghurt pots all together. I didn't do very well at collecting very many. But hopefully you can get a lot more mm -hmm. and then um, your snake it will be really long. Mine's going to be quite short because I only have a few yoghurt pots, which is a shame. But if you do make yours, maybe yours is, you've got loads and loads of yoghurt pots and yours is going to be really long, upload a picture to the Facebook group because I would love to see what other people have managed to do and how many yoghurt pots you've managed to get into your snake. Maybe we could have a little competition and see who's got the longest snake. So it's going to look something a little bit like this. Yours will probably look better because hopefully you won't have triangle shaped pots. And it means if you if I filled this whole string that you'd have like a snake shape. And once you've threaded all of your yogurt pots on, you just need to tie a knot in the other end of the string so they don't all fall off. And then we can decorate them. Now because they're going to be plastic, I would uh, say you probably want to do some cut and stick. So again, find a magazine or some paper that you don't need anymore, cut out some uh, colours and shapes that you like and stick those on to decorate and make sure you put a face on the front of your snake as well. Um, as I said, do upload uh, a picture of your finished snake or other crafts that you've done to Crafts with Laura Facebook group. Um, and I hope that you've enjoyed today's craft video. Um, now we have our word activity for today. So yesterday's word we can reveal was giraffe. So we needed to put the I, the F and the E in to make giraffe. Did you get that right? Did you manage to get the right letters? If so, well done. Um, today we've got a new word here, beginning with M, and we've got two letters missing. So can you work out what those are? It's 
spelling the name of another jungle animal. See if you can work that out. If you can write it yourself, really great, do that. If you're not quite old enough to do that, maybe get a grown up to help you, help you work out what the letters are. But can you work out what animal this is from the letters that we have? Um, as I said, do join the Facebook group Crafts with Laura. Do subscribe to these videos and share them with anyone who is going to find them useful uh, during this time of spending more time indoors. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's craft activity and I look forward to seeing some pictures of your snakes that you make. Um, and I'll see you soon for our next session.